Okay, so. Regardez, Monsieur et Madame. Ah, nice refreshing cup of water. Mmm, boy, that's refreshing. All right. I'm about to use, by the way, the F word. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. If I hit you, you're going to get very wet. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! Oh, look out for the projector. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, a little applause, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, am I on the camera? I am. I'm sort of on the edge of the camera. Am I there? I am. Am I there? I am. I'm on the camera. Am I on the camera? I think I'm on the camera. You are. I'm trying to miss the projector. That'd be bad, wouldn't it? I think like... Yeah. There you go. We know it would fly off tangentially, right? So if you stood... Basically, all of you are pretty safe, except for the splashes. Right? Okay. Now, if you were a little ant riding next to this cup, you would explain your remaining on the plate, even while it was upside down. You would use the F word, I believe, wouldn't you? Certainly, if you were riding on this, you'd use the F word at least once, right? You would say, centrifugal force keeps the cup from falling off the plate. Yes? Okay. But let's not use the F word, because that's kind of crude and vulgar, isn't it? Right? And so I'm going to stop. I can't actually conjugate verbs and stuff. A little more applause. <laughs> Stopping is harder than, than starting. Okay, just put it okay, and then there, you know, there is... There's water in there, okay. But but we we don't, we don't have to use the F word, right? We can just um, we can explain it this way, right? Uh, when it's going in a circle, wh wh which way does the object want to go? Wants to go in a straight line. In order for in order for it not to go in a straight line, then what do we have to do? We have to exert a centripetal force. We have to exert a force toward the center, right? Now, to keep the water in the cup, what do you suppose? the minimum centripetal acceleration at the top needs to be so that the water doesn't fall out of the cup. This is concept zero. Negative yeah, it's got to be 9.81 meters per second squared straight down. Now I can do this. Let's see. I've got to find something that I don't like very much here, a pen. I love this pen, but I don't love it too much to do this to it. Okay, I can keep an object on my hand with my hand pointed down. I can do it. Watch. There you go. Okay. Wasn't it on my hand? Yeah. Yeah, it's on my hand, and, I, and my hand is upside down, isn't it? Of course, now I'm doing a linear acceleration straight down. And to be sure, if I don't accelerate down fast enough, right, then it, it doesn't stay on my hand, right? Okay? But if I accelerate down fast enough, and what is that minimum downward acceleration? Yeah, 9.81. If I accelerate down faster than that, then it's pressed against my hand, right? Because gravity alone can make it accelerate 9.81. If we want to accelerate down faster, we must exert a downward force, yes? Okay. So this does not bend your mind. I could take the cup of water and, and for some period of time, I could hold it upside down. I could do the same thing and, and have it on my hand and accelerate it straight down, yes? Okay. Then there would be definitely a splashy sort of end to that, yes? I would be spiking an upside down cup of water. Could be done. Okay. I could do it. I'm not going to do it. I choose not to. Well, if you were good, I don't think I'm that good. Okay? I'm not confident in my ability to do that, but it seems like you might be able to. I don't know. Practice it with something that's not a cup of water first, right? <laughs> okay. so, so, what you have to do in your mind, and the reason why the, the cup of water twirling around seems so magical, was that it didn't seem like at the top that it was accelerating straight down, but it is, isn't it? If you believe that, that the centripetal acceleration is an acceleration toward the center, if that's what we need to do, then at the top, centripetal is which way? Straight down. I'm accelerating straight down and apparently faster than 9.81, at a greater rate than 9.81, right? And at the bottom, of course, I'm accelerating straight up, and when I'm over there, I'm accelerating straight this way, and when I'm over there, I'm accelerating straight this way, right? I'm always accelerating toward the center, okay? Um, these types of problems, there's, and there's several types. We have a question. So if you have, if it's accelerating at uh, 9.81 to the center, 
Yeah, or greater than 9.81 to the center. And it's going down. When is that multiplied the force of gravity then? Yeah, she's here. Gravity of 9.81 times the force of the force of It actually, actually, we crazily will we'll cancel it out. So if it's actually pulling 9.81, okay, um, it, you actually would feel slightly weightless at the very top, right? So this is what amusement park rides do, right? Or swings. Yeah, but your G-force, let's think of it in terms of the G-force, right? You would feel an outward G-force, which would be upward, right? Gravity provides a downward G-force, and so you would feel weightless. And that's why it's kind of a thrill, right? On swing sets, right? Even if you're not going all the way around, when you're over here on the side, you're, you're accelerating down, right? Yeah, roller coasters as well, right? So this is concept zero, okay? Concept zero uh, is that, that if you're gonna go in a circle, okay? That wasn't such a good circle. I'm not gonna like talk that one up, right? Okay, but at the top, okay, the acceleration needs to be greater than or equal to 9.81, okay? For the string to stay taut, right? For the water to stay, in the bucket, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's concept zero. Uh, and there's a whole genre of problems like this. Um, and this example here is, what is the minimum speed at the top uh, for my bucket if the radius is 1.12 meters, right? So the cup doesn't fall out, right? So if this is 1.12 meters, okay, what is my minimum speed Right, what's the minimum speed? Well, I'm just gonna calculate what it is to make it 9.81 meters per second squared. So A is V squared over R, okay? And so V is gonna be, what is V? V is the square root of R. Yes? And so I'm just, I'm, by the way, that's just, I'm, I'm kind of like a preview of the pirate stuff to come, okay? R. Okay. So this is gonna be the square root of 9.81 times 1.12, okay? So we just plug in 9.81 to this, we plug in 1.12 for that, and voila. So how fast was I moving it at the minimum? And of course, I, you can bet I boosted the speed up a little bit faster because of my mad skills and, or my lack thereof. There we go. So I get 3.3 .3 meters per second, roughly. Okay. So that is, um, that is concept zero. Okay. Is you just set the acceleration equal to 9.81. If they say, how does the water stay in the bucket? Kind of a thing, right? Okay. So if you take something like this, right? and you spin it, if I spin it really fast, that gets your attention, right? It's like ripping through the air, right? Okay, there's tons of tension at the top, but as I slow it down, it's like, there you go, yeah. Okay, that was a little too slow, right? Didn't, the string did not stay taut. The water did not stay in the bucket. Stuff fell out of people's pockets if they're on the roller coaster, right? You can see the string is going loose, yeah? So when the string stays taut, you know the acceleration is equal to or greater than 9.81, yeah? Okay. So what else is there to learn? Well, okay, now we're into concept 1A and 1B, right? Okay, if you've got a circular ride, let's draw a circular ride here, and it goes in a vertical circle, well, that's a pretty good circle, not the best circle, not the best circle I've drawn, but it's a good circle, okay? There we go. You can be at the top and at the bottom, okay? You will feel one less G at the top. And at the bottom, you're gonna feel, what are we gonna feel at the bottom? Any predictions? Yeah, there we go, one more G at the bottom, okay? Why is that? Well, because let's take gravity out of the picture. Let's turn off gravity. You like that? That's like my gravity turning off sound, right? We turn off gravity, okay? This ride is just gonna pull, let's say the ride is pulling three Gs, okay? But that's, that's what its interval acceleration is. We, we, we figure out this interval acceleration 
It's 3G. 